I've heard you talk about this quite often that you don't really look at poll numbers, right? But what do you see as the driving factor to that 28 percent? Well, I could tell you, I could have told you <laughs> that before a poll came out, because I'm in the streets, New Yorkers are angry. They're angry. At they're, you or the situation? They're angry at the, just the totality of where they see this situa situation has brought us. Each migrant will get approximately $12.52 per day to purchase food and baby supplies. That's about 40% more than what the average low-income American wow. gets in this country on government food stamps or stamps wow. in 2022, which was about $7.59 per person per day. To put in other words, that $53 million that's being used for this prepaid debit program is double what the New York State is budgeting in 2025 for its Department of Veterans Services, wow. its Office of National and Community Service, its Division of Human Rights. Welcome back, everybody. Simple Sun here. Sunday, last night, the Super Bowl happened. I want to focus on commercials. You had the movie trailer, the new truck commercials, feet washing commercial. There was one commercial that stuck out to me. One commercial that probably stuck out to most people who've seen it. I really want to say, if you disagree with me, leave in the comments any information that you have. But I got to point out, this may be the United States' first taxpayer-funded commercial. Now... I want you to pay attention when they have a close-up of all the little snackies. Look in the back. Look in the back of the seal of approval. Now you'll know what I mean. Look in the back. Super Bowl Sunday. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. I wonder how much of our tax dollars went to this. You know, to run a commercial during the Super Bowl. Tens of millions of dollars of ours. Did these companies pay for it? And if they did, is Joe Biden now sponsored by these corporations? Is he a shill? Is is Because we can clearly see his stamp of approval is behind all the products. Behind the Doritos and the Turkey Hill and the Oreos and the Goldfish and the Gatorades. So is he doing marketing for them? He didn't. This didn't have to be shown. I mean, the only thing he said that had any substance was the old cliche of how much air is in the big old bag of chips. Well, guess what? You're the president of the United States, you moron. This almost seems like an AI joke, to be honest with you. Like they got, like Saturday Night Live got the guy from Harry Potter, the Slytherin guy, Harry Potter, and they just AI imposed Joe Biden's head on him. This doesn't seem real. The U.S. president, the president of the United States, is basically running an ad for some of the snack food companies in America. First off, again, he ha he's the president of the United States. He runs the Food and Drug Administration. He can just totally run a policy through executive order to require every bag of chips to have a see-through covering, create a policy where they use less nitrogen and just change the timetable in which how, f how long the chips are best used to buy to lower that date to compensate. But no, he spends probably tens of millions of dollars of your money to run an ad for all the junk food he tells you he loves. So remember back in the ad, that he, he tells you he loves this stuff. He loves ice cream. And he just sees these, these containers shrinking, not even paying attention. And he's ignoring the fact that the hypocrisy that he's the problem. He's not solving the issue. He's making it harder for all of us to buy these things. His actions are directly causing... This, it, this is correlated. 
this a happened b happened c happened it wasn't like some external variable came you know there was some nuclear war across the other planet other side of the planet where it caused our prices to go up no these were inactions and actions due to his decisions well at least his administrations because he probably doesn't even know he's at at half the time truthfully he doesn't know once my brain goes i shouldn't be in a leadership role neither should you and neither should he it feels that there should be some questions asked who paid for this during the super bowl he put his presidential seal as you can see up on the screen he put the presidential seal behind all these corporations that he was just going on a rant about. He just turned on a webcam and Grandpa just started ranting about too much air in a bag of chips, right? That's not what happened. They planned this. This was probably a year in advance. These products were probably chosen specifically for reasons. W what happened? Why isn't like Utz potato chips up there? Why isn't, you know, Snickers bars? Or why isn't any any other food why isn't that coca-cola or pepsi and sprite and you know everything else why isn't that up there why are these specific companies up there there's two different ice creams you're promoting diabetes and i'm talking about myself these stuff this stuff is good it, it tastes delicious it's really bad for you though so is that now the 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 position of the white house that they're pushing this as a balanced uh, amount of your meal? Is this is what we're looking forward to for the rest of our lives and our children and grandchildren? That now the President of the United States is taking taxpayer dollars and he's spending it to basically do pseudo commercials during the Super Bowl for multiples of corporations? There's nothing up there that you should be drinking or eating. That greater rate isn't even sugar free. The rest of it is just big piles of carbohydrates. Maybe we should stop complaining about, you know, two little ba uh, potato chips are in a bag. Maybe we should stop eating potato chips. Or at least a lot less of them. But I get it. It's corporatism. It's, it's you know, it's the greed. If, he, if it was before he was the president of the United States or after, whether you like it or not, it, there's nothing really that you can do about it. He's the president of the United States. He's doing a pseudo commercial or a straight up commercial on our dime. What is more authoritarian than that? He's basically shilling out the corporations in front of our face. Is he? Was there any promises made to him or his family after he's the president of the United States if he didn't get direct payment now? Who paid for this in the first place? Are we going to get anything free out of this? Because he got things. He got free shit. He got it. What about us? Well, simultaneously, they give more money to people coming into this country illegally than they give regular Americans. Where's anything for us? And you wonder why people hate the system and the people that run it. Why are they so confused? These, these, this is the exact reason why we hate you. There's an exact reason why we don't trust you. There's a reason why you annoy the shit out of us. It's because of this. The President of the United States of the Democratic Party just basically did a tax-funded payer commercial during the Super Bowl. This is the reality that we're facing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let this be the reality in 2024 and 2025 and 2026 and 2027. We have to make better choices as Americans because guess what? We're, here, we're all we got. If our identity as Americans fades away, America fades away. All these rights and all these privileges and all these protections that we've had throughout the centuries, they're gone. We just allowed kleptocracy to happen. And we're going to fail as a state. But hopefully, someone in a position of power way higher than mine starts asking questions like I did. Who paid for this? Was there a trade-off somewhere? What is the underlying thing that we shouldn't trust you with? And why in the hell did these companies get chosen and you chose to put the presidential seal right behind them? The seal and all the property that we paid for. This is ours. We be it belongs to all of us. I mean, every American citizen, it belongs to us. So that's the questions we need to start asking. Who, who made these decisions? So, hopefully these get answered. 
It probably won't. Welcome to Joe Biden's regime. But either way, I do videos every day. If you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me if there's another, you know, example of a uh, taxpayer-funded commercial. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bags of chips have too much air in them.